some areas are starting to ease restrictions on movement and gatherings, and some businesses will start to reopen. But that does not mean that it's safe for you to return to your life as it was before this pandemic disruption. It is definitely not safe to do that. The goal of restricting movement and interactions was to flatten the curve. And that meant we wanted to have fewer cases per day so that our healthcare systems weren't overwhelmed. The point was to use that time to improve our ability to manage this virus. We needed to increase our capacity to test, isolate the infectious and trace our contacts, care for the symptomatic, and quarantine the exposed. If we take our progress in the first step of that process, which is testing, for the past week, we've been testing about 248,000 people per day in the U.S. Well, that sounds like a lot, but the estimates on how many people we need to be able to test per day range from 900,000 to 4 million. And those are absolute minimums for preparedness. And that's for the first step in a multi-step management and mitigation process. So we're well behind where we need to be to be able to meet our testing needs. In Pennsylvania, we're testing fewer than 6,000 people per day, and our target should be closer to 10 times that, about 60,000 people per day. So while restrictions may be changing in your area, pay careful attention to what the new restrictions permit. In many cases, these don't actually allow for significant increases in activities that would lead to close contact or large aggregations. Most recommendations specify maintaining physical distance outside of the household and continuing to work remotely. Finally, many areas that are reopening and allowing for aggregation and close contacts are doing so prematurely. The risk has not passed and our capacity has not improved enough. To avoid putting yourself and your household members at risk, I encourage everyone to maintain physical distancing practices as much as possible. Thank you.